Yeah, uh, man. Teddy Styles got a question for me, man. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I got him. I got him right after uh, Lou Perez. I, I got you, Teddy. I promise. I, I'm copying and pasting all of them. Uh, Lou Perez uh, actually asked, "Was the Bataram scene real and straight out of Compton, Lonzo?" <sighs> Was it real? I don't know. Real in regards to easy. I know the Battle Ram rolled the streets of Los Angeles and terrorized the neighborhoods like it's nobody's business. Battle Ram break it, break the Battle Ram down for people who don't know. We've talked about it, but break it down. Battle Ram was a tank that they created in uh, Daryl Gates, the uh, chief of police for the LAPD. He created a tank because um, during the crack era, people learned how to fortify their houses. I mean, it would take forever to, for them cops to break into. A, uh, a crack house because they had the gate, they had the uh, bars on the doors, they had the doors double reinforced. You had double double bar doors, and sometimes you may have double windows. And because that one, you had to keep the um, keep the, the robbers out and the police. And and see, crack cocaine, crack cocaine does not flush or dissolve in water like like uh, powder cocaine. So you got you got to have you need some time to dispose of that shit before the cops get there. And they most of the time they would tell when they would get it finally get into the house of the crack house, the cocaine would be gone. So they found a way to just tear them all down, just come to the wall. So they put a big ass metal plate on the barrel of a uh, of a, uh, a tank, a metal plate on the barrel of a tank, and they would just pull that something around the side of your house and come through like a, like a low rider and just come right through the living room. But the problem with that was. A lot of times they go to the wrong houses, or sometimes mm. they smash down the door of a bedroom and kill people. Okay, they'd hurt kids and shit like that. So it, it was just, and it just became a nuisance. And and most of the time they carried the damn thing on a tank. So people started coming. They had to take it off the trailer, and they saw it coming. Hey man, the right around on the way to your house, dude. So anybody that was selling dope, you still got a heads up. Oh yeah. So it, it just became a. Um, Came kind of useless after a while. Then they found out a way how to actually get them doors off a lot faster, and uh, using crackheads to you know it became a whole cat and mouse game. But the Battle Ram had his had his run. Toddy T made a record about it, made a hit record about it, and uh, yeah. shortly after that, the uh, I think it was ALCL ACLU uh, found it to be un unconstitutional. Yeah, but it's still around. My, my boy Matt McDaniel's. We took some pictures of it down at the uh, police museum. It's still around. It still exists. Damn. 